Uh, yeah, my son just turned one, like last week. Just turned one. And do you know what I did for his birthday? Nothing. That day was for me, okay? <laughs> he doesn't know anything. I just didn't kill him. I was just celebrating. Those things, those things are so easy to kill. Like, it was just a whole year of like, is he dead yet? Is he dead yet? I don't know. Is he dead yet? <laughs> it's just, oh my gosh, if you have anxiety problems, never have a kid. Just don't. Just don't have a kid. Um, <laughs> I, I, I have, um, I, I don't even wear, no, I have a lot of anxiety problems, but I just feel like my anxiety problems are very unnecessary. Very unnecessary. For instance, I will not take the trash out into the basement when it is dusk. And anything dusk, like 5 p.m. If it's 5, I'm not. And my husband thought forever it was because he thought I, I was afraid of getting assaulted. And I was like, no, it's because the boogeyman is down there. <laughs> I'm being dead serious. I will not sleep with the lights off if my husband is not home. <laughs> I can't, I can't handle it. I get so many huge panic attacks. It's crazy. Um, <laughs> um, the sad thing is, about this is that my husband likes to taunt me about this and he'll be like, hey, hon, there's this awesome fight. Look at this person, look at this knockout. I'm like, no, absolutely not. I can't even handle a fake plot or fake blood. Do you think I can handle like real life people punching each other? <laughs> it's just sad because I know that this whole anxiety thing is just, it's, it's nothing. It, and I feel like the universe is going to get me back in tenfolds because you know what's going to happen is my, my new kid is going to end up like wanting to become a boxer or something like that. <laughs> and not only just like any boxer, he's going to become the most worst boxer in the entire world. And as a mother, I have to go to every single show and just be like, yeah, you get him as he keeps getting knocked out over and over. <laughs> And over again. <laughs> it's great. It's great. I don't know. Um, I, you're, being a mom does make you think more about like getting ahead in life, making sure things are paid, making sure that you're doing the right thing because you never want your son or daughter to come up to you and be like, hey, mom, how's your podcast doing? <laughs> It's going. Yeah, just go back to your room. No, has anyone ever had a panic attack because they thought that their six-year-old nephew was going to surpass them in life? Just... <laughs> this legitimately happened. My six-year-old nephew was like, Aunt Amy, I also want to become a stand-up comedian, too. And I was like, step back. That's my dream. <laughs> Get away. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I can still make it. Leave me alone. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Um, yeah. um, so, enough with that stuff. Enough with panic attacks. That's whatever, you know. Um, <laughs> I, um, I, I am currently on a, a, a cleanse right now. If you don't know what a cleanse is, it's a fancy word of just saying that you're starving yourself, okay? <laughs> Literally, I can't have any soy, dairy, wheat, gluten, sugar, air, nothing, okay? And um, once you take all those things out of like anything to eat, oh my God, that pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! Once you get, <laughs> like you like literally just get kicked out of the food chain. That's just what happens. And the sad thing about this whole diet is I spent $300 for this diet. And um, with it, what comes with it is actually, I get a person that's coaching me. It's, also, it's actually called my friend, Sarah, who got into a pyramid scheme and now I have to buy her product. <laughs> that's just exactly what it is. I was like, yeah, I'll support you. Thanks. Anyways, if you guys are my friends and you're supporting me here, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, <laughs> no, so um, literally, uh, I was like, I don't even know how to eat on this diet. She's like, don't even worry about that. What's going to happen with this money is that you are going to get a whole bunch of stuff, meals in, in the mail. And I was like, okay. So I'm thinking like blue apron, prepackaged meals. I just know what I'm going to eat every day. Simple. Okay. That's great. I get in the mail, a whole bunch of powder. That's, 
I was like, this better be some awesome cocaine, okay? <laughs> that I can ju 